welcome back. This is your girl Larissa here in Louisville, Kentucky, on the Derby route, ready for the 135th Pegasus Parade. As you can see, the crowd is coming out. We're getting ready. Maybe in about 15 minutes, the parade should be starting. We're so ready on this beautiful day for all the floats and the skaters. And as you can see behind me, the vendors are out. People are lining up, getting ready for such a wonderful occasion. We're here with the Red Cross in, in the Red Cross area where they have over 300 disabled. And we're so happy that they are in the community helping out. We're so glad that they take time out with the children of disabled. We're here in Louisville, Kentucky, the 135th Pegasus Parade, and it has begun. As you can see in my background, the, the, the sheriff department is, is out, the police is out, the grand marshal is coming up not far behind them, the color guards is leading the parade. And, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful day for a parade. As you can see, we have over thousands of people out enjoying it, enjoying our 135th Pegasus Parade. We have helicopters on flying by, and we have the aircrafts flying by in Louisville, Kentucky. And as you can see, it has begun. Local 345 firemen is on the scene. Our police are out representing the city of Louisville. The kilt dancers are playing and doing such a wonderful job. Local 345 and our fire department is coming up. And we are so grateful for our fire department and what they do in the community. We're here in the Red Cross section of the uh, disability where we have Hazelwood Center helping out with, with our disabled and the Red Cross do, does such a wonderful job in, in our community. At the parade, Pegasus Parade, the 135th, I'm here with a few of our guests out enjoying this beautiful weather. We have Oh, Amy. Amy. Andrew. Andrew. And we're, they represent the Hazelwood Center. Tell me a little bit about your uh, facility, Andrew. Uh, we're an HR, uh, H, uh, IM HR facility. Uh, we specialize in getting our individuals into the community. Uh, we're working on trying to talk to organizations on trying to get them jobs in the community. So any help would be uh, appreciated. Uh, our number is 361-2301 if you want to contact Hazelwood, and uh, we'd really appreciate it. And when we say a Hazelwood Center, Amy is, and we say training, Amy, is, the facility is for who? Uh, <laughs> for who? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amy here is a module instructor at Hazelwood Center, and they work on goals and objectives, which allow the our individuals do, do not are not capable of being able to do ordinary things like brush their teeth. We do a lot of act, yes. ADLs, which are called act, uh, what it, were ADLs, yes, activities ADL. of daily living, and uh, we constantly have to reinforce that. But we're also working on now trying to incorporate their goals and objectives into community uh, activities and uh, involvement. So. 
we not only want the community to help us, if the community has an opportunity for us to come out and help them, we'd like that as well. Oh, we are so appreciative of your services in helping the community. Here we go with our first float, Absolute Pegasus, which represent our Derby horse. Absolute Pegasus is furnished by the Republic Bank. In the car.